Hey, so what's the first thing you see when you start a video game? No, no, not that. E -A no, not this stuff game. either. No, no. Oh, yes. Yes, that's it. The intro, the opening cinematic, or otherwise known as the thing you immediately skip over after you've seen it once. These little opening movies set the tone for the game you're about to play. There's honestly nothing like buying a new game and watching what intro they've cooked up. But let's look at the ones that weren't cooked. I want the raw Hell's Kitchen contestant type of stuff. What a mess. I asked for mid rare, but it's raw. So we'll look at the top eight worst intros in sports games. Why sports games? It's the theme of the channel, man. Come on. Why top eight? Because honestly, I don't have enough entries for a top 10 list. Hey, at least I'm honest. And if honesty doesn't get me a like, what will? LeBron James. I completely struggled on whether I should put this one in or not. You could split this intro into two halves. The second half is a gameplay sizzle reel of LeBron James to the song Hate Me Now. It's pretty good. The first half, though, is LeBron James sitting in a dark room spouting the most cliche sayings and phrases. To be the best, you have to work the hardest. You have to chase what seems impossible over and over and over again. Because giving up is not an option. And when you feel like you've reached your limit, it's only the beginning. I feel like they just put inspirational quotes on a Google search and just went with the first results. Hey LeBron, what about put your best foot forward? Or you miss 100% of the shots you don't take? Or play every game like it's your last? Hey, it's cool if you like this sort of thing. But the last thing I'd expect when starting a basketball game is LeBron James reciting whatever he finds on a Rock's Twitter account. My new name is Seven, by the way. The MLB The Show series has some of the most amazing intros. MLB 17, 18, and 19 were all love letters to the game of baseball, and they could tug on some heartstrings if you're familiar enough with the game. This game is with us always, ready to break free when the world awakens in the spring. The intro for MLB 20 is a combo breaker because this one's disappointing. It stars the cover athlete, Javi Baez, just fielding and hitting in a dark room. What's up with the dark rooms so far? Why do these guys look like they're in a black void? Anyway, occasionally a red Virtual Boy version of Baez will spawn next to the regular one and scream at you. Ah. Honestly, this just looks like a Gatorade commercial, but they forgot to add the narration. This whole thing is just boring. boring. This sucks. And it's probably the worst intro in the whole series. EA sucks. Is, is that it? What was that, like less than 10 seconds? You couldn't do anything special with the two cover athletes? Nothing? Two punches, the kumite, and a slam? Why is the intro shorter than a Francis and Ganu fight? The intro is shorter than the loading screen that precedes it. Sir, will you please stop staring at me? Where's the rest of you? The worst thing about it is that you can't even skip it. Those 10 seconds are short, but when you're trying to skip this thing, they feel long every time you try and play this game. To be 100% fair, this isn't exclusive to UFC 4, because UFC 3 has a really short intro too, but I really like this combo at the end, so I won't include it. All-Star Baseball 2005 had multiple different intros. Derek Jeter, Ichiro, Chipper Jones, it's all cool stuff that gives you an insight to the players at the time. Also, not seeing the exact same thing every time you start the game is pretty refreshing. There's one intro that's worse than all the others, though, and that's this intro for Dontrell Willis. I think when I was younger, I just wanted to come up with a style of my own. As you can tell, you can hardly hear the man. The background music is way too loud. Imagine if I was talking to you and then trumpets just started blaring out loud and you can hardly hear me. Hey, hey. 
Can you hear me? Dontrell only ever talks about his leg kick. And by the way, it has this edit which makes me laugh every single time. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> but look at it this way. Derek Jeter tells us how he deals with the fans and how it helps him thrive as an athlete. Ichiro tells us that he tries to play as close to perfection as humanly possible and shows some cool plays. Tripper Jones says he loves putting fear into the pitcher's heart. Dontrell Willis has a leg kick. Four. What you're looking at right now is the biggest bamboozling that has ever happened to me in video games. Yes, yes, I know. Looking at this now and it's obviously fake, but it's one of those things where you had to be there at the time. The PS2 just launched and we were excited to see what the next generation of wrestling games would look like. When this intro started, we all thought this is what the game was. We were all hyped. We went to go play a match, pick our wrestlers, waited with bated breath, and this is what we got. What will the outcome of this match be? I want to see The Rock doing up the people's elbow. Yeah, um, yeah. You would think they would never do this kind of thing again, but for SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, we got a completely fake trailer once again. You're a fraud! THQ. <laughs> So this is pretty much a Tony Hawk ripoff, but with Disney characters. This intro was on here because it's trying so hard to be edgy. It's like putting a square shape into a round hole. Giving Mickey and his friends these Sonic the Hedgehog-esque facial expressions just looks so silly, man. Oh, Lord, he comes! All while hard rock music is playing in the background. The hardcore look is even on the cover, and how can you not tell me this invokes some kind of thoughts of Sonic? I don't know, maybe being pissed off makes you a better skateboarder or something. Number two. The Sega CD was an add-on for the Genesis that gave us many things, like a uh, full motion video, and that's it. And full motion video looks like complete shit. Many games had many full motion video cutscenes or even based the whole entire game on full motion video. EA decided that they should open their FIFA game with this, and it's absolutely gross. I've seen Bigfoot footage with more pixels, and I've seen PowerPoint presentations with a better frame rate. If you would have shown me this, I would have thought it was some YouTube video from like 2008, uploaded by some kid who recorded the video with a Hypercam Pro trial. Slow down, scooter brother! Scooter brother! I understand it's a product of its time, but were people really impressed by this in 1995? I can look at something like Tomb Raider and say, wow, this looks terrible. Whoa, be careful. You can rip a hole in our dimension with those things, girl. But at the same time, I can understand that this was revolutionary for its time because there was hardly anything like it. This, on the other hand, just sucks. Not even cavemen would be impressed by this. As a little bonus or whatever, FIFA 96 had this intro. Man, do you guys think graphics will ever look this good? EA Sports. In the mid-2000s, EA Sports had cameo appearances by athletes, coaches, fans, and more to say the line. EA Sports! It's in the game! Man, NFL 2005. Well, shit, that's cool. Nowadays, you have to sell your left kidney in order to get someone to say something on cameo. These really aren't all that bad, but when the hell am I ever going to talk about this again? Here are some ones that stand out to me. Jeff Wilkins, one black shoe, one white shoe. It's in the game. EA Sports, you're in the game, baby! Woo! EA Sports! Don't forget it, we're coming at you! Woo! EA Sports! EA Sports! It's in the game! It's in the game! EA Sports! It's in the game! Hey! Woo! Yeah! EA Sports, in the game. It's in the game! Number one! 
So this game is another Tony Hawk styled game, but their hook isn't Disney characters. It's being even more edgy with crude humor, sex, nudity, and well, oh, thank you, ESRB, thank you. So how can you put all that in a video game intro? Well, easy. Just have a bunch of dudes falling over and throwing strippers every now and again. All this to the musical stylings of click, click, boom which is the most cliche thing they could have used. The only way you could be more cliche is if you use let the bodies hit the floor, or if you watch LeBron James intro from earlier. <laughs> the intro ends with a guy crushing his balls, much like the publisher of this game, Acclaim, did a couple months after this game's release. This is bad. Not because it offends me. I'm not offended by anything here. It's bad because it tries such an edgy, over-the-top way to get the attention of the masses for a simple BMX game. They weren't confident in their own game, so they add nonsense. And nonsense sucks. And if that offends you, I'd like to apologize. To absolutely nobody! Thank you guys for watching. I'm not gonna tell you to like the video or anything because you're all grown, do your thing. Check out my other stuff if you want, and see ya.